Welcome to a bike lock that I found on the street today. It's an Avis four wheel combination uh, cable or ring lock. Yeah, four wheels. Usually I would show you a decoding of this lock, but I can't. Um, it's too difficult. <laughs> yeah, wheels turn very hard, and when you turn one wheel, other wheels turn at the same time. So it's not a fun thing to do. I really tried hard to get it decoded. Um, I even clamped it in a vise to more conveniently pull only on one side and the other hand I could then turn the wheels but uh, it didn't open for me. So what we are going to try is to see how much it takes to get it uh, cut open with just some um, basic tools. Okay, so, first thing to do I wanna cut away a little bit of this plastic tubing to see how it looks underneath. So this is not a chain and it's not a cable. These are hollow uh, cylinders that are put in each other so that they can bend a little bit. Yeah, let's cut it open and see how this looks underneath. Okay, so that's how it looks like. I think we will find we would find a, a cable on inside that holds everything together. Yeah, um, I think it might be worth to to try to uh, bend this. And see if we can expose the cable. See if we can do that. Doesn't look like. Um, I had a Fisher cable lock or tubing lock, I don't know how this is named correctly, where it was easily possible to just bend it and then uh, take a saw to cut the wire. It's not um, possible here. Maybe if I take the, the middle part Maybe then this is possible. Well, let's see. Here we can see the metal exposed. But no, this is of higher quality. You can uh, see that there is no gap. Okay, let me grab some tools and we will continue. So I have a big uh, water pump pliers here. Um, I want to see if I can squeeze it down. Let's see if I can just grab one of these cylinders and squeeze them down. Does not look like. No, nope, they are pretty solid. My idea was to get them compressed <laughs> ah, no and then the metal the, uh, the string would be exposed uh, the wire and then I could cut it but doesn't look like so next attempt is a saw all right I have it uh, here in my vise loosely so Let's pretend this is somehow secured on the bike and it allows me to pull on the on the cable on the other side. And I've just my metal saw here and I try to get it cut through. Yeah, but you can hear from the sound, this is just scattering. Doesn't leave any visible marks. Maybe some scratches here, but this is hardened. This is really good hardened steel and it's not easy to, to cut. I mean that's not the, the sharpest blade here but it doesn't do anything at all. Okay, so maybe maybe uh, here that's not hardened. Let's let's try to cut it here on the uh, on the on the part that uh, belongs to the lock, not on the actual um, chain or so. Let's see if this is not hardened. Ah, you can you can see that it 
more easily cuts here and you can also hear it I believe more easily cuts into the material yeah that's better so let's continue We are halfway through. So here I'm back at my usual desk and something funny happened down in the shop. You saw me cutting through the soft material and when I was halfway through I thought I could break it. Uh, but the cut didn't break, didn't snap, but the bolt did. That's quite funny. It was actually very easy when I bent these two parts. Uh, suddenly the bolt snapped. And that's very interesting because I would think that the bolt doesn't need to be made of hardened material, but from the grain, from the surface of the cut, you can see that this is really brittle, really hard. So I don't know why they decided to make the bolt out of hardened material, but that's how it is. <laughs> Pretty nice lock actually, so from the locking mechanism it's pretty good. Um, it's an Abel's lock with this special mechanism that destroys the feedback. Um, beside of this, as I said, this is an older lock and the wheels kind of stiff and uh, turn along which it, which it, each other so it's a hard lock to decode. Then we have hardened steel tubes here. Once again I can show you this with my file. It just gathers along the surface without leaving any marks. But on the other hand the part that goes to the bolt itself on both sides I believe is not made from hardened steel. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Might be also aluminum. So with a fresh blade and some uh, more persistence I would have uh, easily cut through here. So this is the weak uh, spot on this lock. Doesn't make much sense actually to make this out of hardened material when there are at least one or maybe two places where you can cut through with a metal saw and uh, yeah very easily get the lock apart. Yeah that's probably it uh, from the destruction point of view. I was really surprised to see the bolt snapping. Maybe we uh, can take the lock apart just for sake of completeness so to say and look inside um, yeah when we oops sorry when we inspect the gates here we can see the, the first wheel there is one gate yeah, let me zoom in a little bit further there is one gate and I think there is another gate yeah that's the true gate actually and here we have the false gate. Alright, um, yeah I will take this lock apart now first by removing the clip this clip holds all the All the wheels together so the first wheel comes off, second wheel, third wheel. Wow. Need to find the right spot here. Yep, that's how it looks like. Ah, actually, the ah, yeah, here we can see the bolt. That's hardened steel, very very interesting. 
It's actually really light. Doesn't stick to a magnet. Yeah, maybe that's that's kind of a hardened aluminum. I have no idea. So it's it's really lightweight. Um, wouldn't expect this this weight from from steel actually. So maybe that's that's really aluminum. Yeah, breaks easy. <laughs> yeah, and here we have the the wheels. These are the inner wheels, and these plastic wheels, of course, are the outer wheels. Can we find something interesting? So these peaks here um, grab into some holes, I believe. Yeah, here we have the the holes in the plastic wheel, so that you can turn the inner wheel with a plastic wheel. But yeah, then we have uh, two gates, one true gate, and that's the true gate here, and one false gate. And we have these little bumps here that destroy the feedback. So when you turn the wheel, they make a movement along the uh, bolt axis to destroy the feedback so you don't feel much when when turning the wheel and these are the plates that go in between uh, to separate the wheels yeah pretty nice lock uh, beside of the fact that yeah as I said at least well, once or twice already that this is the weak link here where you can cut through the saw although the other parts of the lock are hardened. All right, uh, so much fun <laughs> with a found lock on the street and yeah, thanks for watching and happy picking. Cheers and bye-bye.